Ja, pa je, veš. Ali ih je, ti. What's up fellas? Well, there we go. Here we are rescuing another Ford old timer. It's a 1990 something Ford Sierra estate. It's got a 1.6 liter engine, electronic fuel injected. So what's wrong with the car? Obviously it's quite rotten, maybe not at the first sight, but as you can see here, those are all holes. It's all crusty and soft. The first obvious problem was the car had no wheels. So as you can see, we kind of uh, sorted that out. There's still one tire that is flat, which I'll need to replace. Other than that, I noticed that the car has no fuel tank, which should sit right here in this place. And the brakes were all locked up, but I sorted that out by putting them apart and a little bit of hammer action and they let loose so what do you think will we be able to drive it home directly well another obvious problem are the leads the ignition leads those uh, <laughs> those are damaged probably by some animal animals the engine is full of oil. I checked out the oil dipstick and there's no contamination or anything visible. <coughs> so the plan is to put the battery in, then uh, try cranking it. As we don't have any fuel tank, I brought my fuel cell along with me. So I will be plugging that in and just wiring it directly to the battery. So we'll have some fuel and fuel pressure. Oh, and another thing. There is no water inside here. Well, the cause of this is when they were pulling the car out of the barn without wheels, uh, they, uh, they drove over a big stone, supposedly, and damaged the radiator. So the, the cooling radiator is damaged 
down down below here luckily i have some sierra parts at home <clears throat> quite a lot of them and uh, i got me some radiator with me i hope it's the same but if it's not yeah, yeah i think it's the same but if not we'll we'll figure something out i guess as we always do then i got some wheels some racing wheels you know you can go racing with them and that's just about it uh, let's let's try and get this car running fuel pump priming obviously since we don't have one on the car yet nothing we hear a click but no no turning engine over well maybe the contacts here on the battery are bad so it is possible let's try and get this contact a bit better Let's try again. Whoa! Yeah, the engine is turning over. That's a good sign, you know? Well, many years of collecting old Ford junk are finally paying off. Check this out. I have all these leads and ignition coils. Typical Ford Ford. Many parts are interchangeable. Those ignition leads are probably from some sierra maybe or even fiesta but i think they will fit just fine Right, so uh, if we were lucky, we should get spark on all the cylinders now. To verify this, I will remove the air filter and spray some brake cleaner in the throttle body. And if we got spark, the engine should at least cough a little. Well, there we go. I think all four cylinders are firing. So now all we have to do is just supply it with some gasoline and I think we should be good to go for a ride. Anyways, let's replace the radiator first and then we'll find some space for our fuel cell. Yep, they are the same.
seems to be holding water. No leaks for now. For now, we'll put the fuel cell right over here. There's no actual space anywhere else and I don't have the hoses long enough to put it in the, in the cabin. On this CFI systems, CFI stands for Central Fuel Injected, I believe. This here is the injector. One injector for all the cylinders. This one is the pressure and this one is the return. That's correct. Well, when I spray the brake cleaner in the throttle body, the thing fires, but without the brake cleaner, there's nothing, no sign of life. I think the injector isn't opening at all. So I guess the problem is somewhere between the ECU and the injector. I can, however, open the injector by bypassing it directly, like this. The positive side to the injector, directly to the plus, and the negative to the minus. Injector is opening and spraying. At this point, I decided to plug the original injector wiring back on and give it another shot. Lo and behold, the car fired up and was running quite nice from the get-go, actually. Then I replaced the rear wheel. Check the gearbox and clutch operation, brakes, and believe it or not, drove it home. You will have to take my word for it, since the camera somehow corrupted the very last file. Oh no! Anyways, that's it for this time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good!